Hello everyone and welcome to the Military and Monetary YouTube channel and yet another collector's tutorial. Today we are going to talk about something or a part of uniform that has been requested so many times. We are going to talk about the color tabs and more specifically how do you attach them. That's the video of today. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you finding my channel. I just recently reached 1000 subscribers on this channel and I'm super excited about that. Thanks a lot everyone for your support. And of course, if you're not subscribing, please do. And of course, follow me on Instagram, link down below. But let's get to it. Basically, every East German uniform have color tabs. And unlike the shoulder boards, they are not quite as easy to attach. No, a lot of collectors, they struggle with the color tabs, me included. But hopefully I might be able to help a little bit. But first, let's talk a little bit about how the color tabs are built and how to not attach them. Here we have another one. Not the same, but it really doesn't matter. This is a Volkspolizei color tab. It looks like this. And most of them looks just like this. When it comes to construction, you have the base, which is cardboard covered in fabric. And you have the metal insignia attached on it. Of course, you have the older version where you have this insignia being stitched by a machine instead of metallic. On the back, you have four prongs. So most of them are built the same way. And if we take a look this one. Here you can see an example of the standard way to attach a color tab with a machine most likely in the factory. You have very straight stitching lines as you can see and they go through on the back. Now some of you have machines to use but most of you do not. So I'm going to show you how to attach them by hand. But first I would like to mention two examples on how to not attach color tabs. Number one, do not use glue. And I really can't stress this enough. I know it's a very easy and convenient way to attach them. Simply just blah, 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 and slap it on. But the problem is you're ruining the uniform. It's much, much better to simply watch this video, practice for 10 minutes and attach them correctly. You're ruining a perfectly fine piece of militaria, a historical piece that maybe some other collector might struggle with in the future to restore. Really don't go the easy way. Do not use glue. Mm -mm. Number two. What about the prongs on the back? Can I fold them out and simply press them through the fabric and fold them in on the back? Well, I would say no. When it comes to army uniforms, Stasi, etc., the answer is no. When it comes to the Volkspolizei or the MDE in general, I know there have been discussions on whether or not it's legitimate to do that. I know there are examples, period examples, of using the prongs. However, you do ruin the uniform. 
you punch holes that you can't undo. So once again, I have a better way and I'm going to show you. The best way to attach a color tab is simply to use a needle and thread. Now I know this is maybe even a little bit intimidating for some of you. It was to me as well in the beginning. However, it is not difficult to learn. I'm going to show you how to attach a standard officer shoulder board using needle and thread. And now, as you might have noticed, this video is about officer tunics. And why is that? Well, mainly because lower ranking tunics almost always, if not always, had their color tabs attached by machine. Officer tabs were, as I said, normally attached by machine, but it was, according to their, what do you say, standards, to attach them by hand as well, so it's not wrong to do it. So, let's begin. Let's take a look at the color tab. As I said, the base of the tab is cardboard. Hard cardboard, meaning that taking the needle and punching it straight through is really, really difficult. And I'm not going to recommend that. We would also like to attach this color tab without the stitches being visible. So we turn it around and we take a look at the fabric on the back. And as you can see, it has been folded over on each ends, meaning we have small, small gaps on each side. And these are the ones we're aiming for. Use a thin needle and use a thread in the same color as the tab. I'm not in this case. But after all, I'm only showing you. And what you're aiming for is the corners. To avoid stitching all the way around. So you start with a corner. You find this small gap and you punch the needle through like this. Now the fabric is glued on, meaning that the needle will leave quite a large hole. So tie a double knot at the end of the thread. You simply pull it through and it's stuck. Now you're ready to begin. You place the tab where you would like it to be. If you take a look at this one, you can see where it should be placed. And then you start attaching it one corner at a time. Now in this case I started with this corner, but I would recommend you to start with this one. Because if you attach this corner first, you have the correct distance here and the correct distance here. So you simply attach this corner first, attach it or adjust it, so to speak, correctly. And then you move on to this corner, these two points. After these two points, the tab is secure in the right location and the rest of the corners are just easy to do. And as I said, we would like the stitches to be invisible, meaning that you start by attaching the thread like this. Once you have it in place, you put the needle underneath and grab just a little, little part of the fabric of the uniform, something like this, then directly up. 
like that. Underneath. And then you fasten it. And then you do the same on the color tab. Try to make the entry and exit underneath the tab. You pull it through, you straighten it, and then you do the same with the fabric again. And you do this maybe four, five loops. And once you're done, you would like to attach it so the thread doesn't doesn't get loose and it falls off. I'm just gonna try to get the needle through to show you. Once you would like to attach it, you leave a little loop. I'm not sure if you can see it. You don't pull it all the way. You leave this small loop here then you take the needle, go through the loop, like this, and then you pull, and you lock it. Pull it a little bit this way, a little bit this way. And depending on in which direction you pull it, you can hide the lock underneath the tab. And that is basically how you do it. It's a little bit difficult, I know. It requires some practice, but not a lot of practice. You get a grip of it quite easy. And as I said, this is the best way to attach a color tab. You do not ruin the uniform. If you would like to simply change the color tabs, all you have to do is cut open the stitches in each corner and the uniform will be undamaged. So, do not use glue, do not use the prongs, use a needle and thread, practice just a little bit, and it will look great. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and of course follow me on Instagram. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.